The Bill Moore Mansion. Right, of prisons. If you have to go to prison, <laughs> it is the swankiest one on the eastern seaboard. Obviously. Sh that's where the food we had in our cafeteria at school. That's what I'm saying. My God. It's a swanky prison. Yes. That's like Luby's. The Luant platter, please. For real, right? Hey, guys. Welcome to David vs. Film. I am David. Yo soy David. To my right is Mark. Yes, I'm Mark. And tonight we're going head-to-head -head with The Shawshank Redemption, 1994. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers and especially returning subscribers, what's up? <laughs> Do you know okay. about this movie? Nothing. Anything? Nothing? Something similar to Green Mile, I'm guessing? Similar. Okay. Yeah, so they're both Stephen King. All right. Uh, and they're both directed by a man named Frank Darabont, okay. who also did The Mist, which we watched together. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah. But this one isn't like scary Stephen King. This is like oh, storyteller Stephen okay, King. Okay. So I think you'll like it. But it's one of those yeah. movies where it's like the least you know about it, the better. Okay. Because there's lots of like twists and turns and mm. really cool stuff. So I think you'll like it. Different than Blazing Saddles, which is the last movie we just watched. <laughs> okay. That one was very funny. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Let us know in the comments yes. if this is one of your favorites. We are excited to dive in. And what are you drinking while we watch this film today, uh, sir? Tonight I'm having some ginger ale. Okay, so you're keeping it, keeping it non-alcoholic. Keeping it light. That's I good. had a little too much to drink yeah, last night. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, on the other hand, am drinking my peach tea as usual. That never is a question on this end, of course. So, yeah, we will jump right in. But before we do, we want to say a big thank you to all yes. our patrons. For any of you who might not know, Patreon is an external site where people can go and help channels like ours that are still trying to grow. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to and are able to, Please. we certainly appreciate that. And as a thank you for that support, we have things like early access to ad-free versions of the videos, the full unedited reactions, yeah. polls mm -hmm. to help us figure out what to watch next, and Discord benefits where we talk about this film and the other stuff that we watch here on the channel. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Great community. We are always appreciative, though, that you watch here on YouTube. We simply ask that you consider clicking subscribe and the notification bell if you want to see more videos like yeah. this. A like is always appreciated. And last but not least, if we're not friends on Instagram, let's, let's be, be friends. friends. We'll leave a link to our Instagram down below. Awesome. Anything else you want to add? I'm ready. All right, boys and girls, let's grab our hymnals, turn to page 1994, and watch The Shawshank Redemption. I'm going to Shawshank you. Okay. The Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. Shanking. Spoiler alert, it's nighttime. <gasps> okay. He's going to do what I think he's going to do. Oh, yeah. Mr. Dufresne, describe the confrontation you had with your wife. See, do you recognize him, Tim Robbins, that actor? Mm -hmm. Glenn Quinton, golf pro at the Snowden Hills Country Club. The man you had recently discovered was your wife's lover. Oh, is that the prosecutor? I think so. Well, where I get hazy is where the cleaning woman shows up the following morning and finds your wife in bed with her lover riddled with 38 caliber bullets. Oh, mm -hmm. that's prosecutor. The prosecutor. <laughs> I hereby order you to serve two life sentences Ooh. back to back. <gasps> One for each of your victims. So be it. Uh oh. Yeah, not good. Obviously, Morgan Freeman. Love hey, Morgan Morgie. Freeman so much. Such a good actor. One of the best actors of our time. Yep. Feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. No longer danger to society. That's God's honest truth. What you do, buddy? Oh, he was young. Oh, He's been in his whole life, right? Cigarettes, a bag of reefer. I'm the guy who can get it for you. So when Andy Dufresne came to me and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, I told him, no problem. <laughs> to build more mansion. Right, of prisons. If you have to go to prison, <laughs> it is the swankiest one on the eastern seaboard. Obviously. Andy came to Shawshank Prison in early 1947. He'd been vice president of a large Portland bank. So it's the newbies. Yeah. You think you'd be scared? Uh, yeah. Have you ever been in jail? Just this prison they call life. <laughs> All right, who's your horse? Cool. That little sack of shit. The chubby fat ass there, the fifth one from the front. What do you say, Red? A tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. So he's betting on Andy then. Doesn't look like a regular prison. Why? You mean too nice? Yeah. Yeah, it was back in the day. Turn to the right! Ice front! You know at least one of them would have turned the wrong way. Rule number one. No blasphemy. I'll not have the Lord's name taken in vain in my prison. 
When do we eat? Oh. You eat when we say you eat. <gasps> it's the Lord's oh. prison. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. Welcome to Shawshank. Well, what a great welcoming committee. That's enough. The cage. cage. She's like an animal, right? Turn around. What is that powder? I think it's like a medicated right. powder. He said delousing to make sure you have lights uh. or cooties. Most new fish come close to madness the first night. Somebody always breaks down crying. I had my money on Andy Dufresne. What? That he was going to... He'd what? break first. That he'd start crying first. The fancy... Like he said earlier, the tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. Lights up! Can I get a nightlight? <laughs> and a little bouche à before bed. <laughs> little nightcap. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, you're there. I can hear you breathing. Make you feel right at home. I don't belong here. We have a winner. <laughs> oh, oh, Awful. What is your malfunction, you fat barrel of monkey spunk? Open that sound. Oh, God. Oh, no. She kept your mouth shut, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, oh. that's excessive. If I hear so much as a mouse fart in here the rest of the night, you will all visit the infirmary. I know it's the wrong thing to focus on, but how did he get a first level cell? That's like very swanky, I would think. His first night in the joint and the frame cost me two packs of cigarettes. He never made a sound. Never made a sound. Like 5 a.m. The what? It's probably like 5 a.m. We gotta be ready. Oh. Shit. That's where the food we had in our cafeteria at school. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My God. It's a swanky prison. Yes. That's like Luby's. The Luan platter, please. For real, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's okay. maggots in it. Are you going to eat that? And, and plan on it? you mind? Oh, you're oh kidding, right? God. For later. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, now it turned cute, right? It went from horrifying to cute in one second for you, didn't it? Jake says thank you. I like your cardigan, buddy. I'm going to look after him until he's big enough to fly. Oh, he's like the old man in Up. How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Dead? <gasps> Hell, it busted his head up pretty good. Doc had already gone home for the night. Oh, my God. What the f***? What was his name? Doesn't fucking matter what his name was. He's mm. dead. You don't even have a name. You just have a number. What yeah. Hey. Oh, oh. I could be a friend to you. Okay. Uh, no thanks. I'm done. Hard to get. A little bit of Irish spring. <laughs> Andy kept pretty much to himself at first. It wasn't until a month went by that he finally opened his mouth. They got a league of their own, too? Oh, yeah. Rosie O'Donnell's right over there. Did you see her? <laughs> she blends in. I'm Andy Dufresne. Wife killing banker. And everybody's got a nickname in prison. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> you gonna fit right in. <laughs> hey, what you in here for? Didn't do it. <laughs> I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. I'm known to locate certain things from time to time. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? Oh. Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. No, sir. Uh, so you're trying to break I out? I have no enemy. I don't know. Why do you need a rock hammer for? Well, he said he does rocks. Oh, no. And I guess you want to escape. Tunnel under the wall, maybe. See? If I missed something here. What's funny? You understand when you see the rock hammer. You mentioned my name, we'd never do business again. Now, you got that? I understand. It's a solid set of rules he has for for the business he does. Well, he gets he's going to get tr in trouble. Name's Red. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. <laughs> <laughs> An Irishman. I mean, how could you not love Morgan Freeman in it's anything he does? I think it would be fair to say I liked Andy from the start. It's a literal sweatshop in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, we're seeing the smuggling operation now, how it, how it all goes down. Because I don't remember a lot. I mean, I remember, like, the gist of this, but I don't remember a lot of this kind of stuff. They even folded the fitted sheet. It's yeah. all nice. I always have a hard time folding a fitted sheet. Well, that's because fitted sheets are invented by Satan. <laughs> and it was right. It would take a man about 600 years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. Oh... Oh, he's got his little bookmobile. Look at him. Delivery for Dufresne. I'll take this one. Oh. 
What were those lucky strikes? I don't know. Here we go. Thanks. At least you're polite and say thanks. Yeah. Look, it's so it's like so you said, hot sweatshop. In there, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's all the dryers, and there's probably no ventilation in there. Most places didn't even have air conditioning back then, but even if they did, this is Maine. Oh, God. I was about to say it's so oh, sketchy. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> oh. in your eyes, it blinds you. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought a good fight. Oh, I thought he was gonna get out of it somehow. I thought somebody was gonna come in and help him, you know what I mean? Or like... Things went on like that for a while. Every so often, Andy would show up with fresh bruises. Oh, oh. Poor Andy. Sometimes he was able to fight him off, sometimes not. <laughs> But then in the spring of 1949. Two years? The roof of the license plate factory needs resurfacing. More than 100 men volunteered for the job. It's like the lottery. Andrew Dufresne. <laughs> oh, he's got the connection with Right. Him. Only cost us a pack of smokes mm -hmm. per man. I made my usual 20%, of course. I mean, he's been there his whole life. You start to learn people, right? You start to know them. It's like a little hustler. Yeah. So anyway, this lawyer fella says to me, your brother died a rich man. 35,000. That's what he left me. It's a lot back then. It's a lot now, but I'm just saying, like, even back then. At the end of the year, you figure the tax wrong? Andy, you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mop, man. Oh, he wants so bad to jump in there, right? Squeeze your tit till it's purple. Yeah, the man never gets a Dude, you're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, you're gonna get beat up. You trust your wife? <gasps> Probably not the best thing to start with. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35,000. <clears throat> The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, well, that's true. IRS can't touch one cent. You're that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? <laughs> I like to brag, but you get the forms, I'll prepare them for you. Nearly free of charge. Three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> smart. Look at them; they're all speechless. And that's how it came to pass. Oh, he made friends. The convict crew that tarred the plate factory roof wound up drinking icy cold Bohemia-style beer. Look at that. Why did they use to tar the roofs for? I think leaking so it didn't leak. Oh. Uh, Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Oh. So he did that just for them. That was nice. Dog, yeah, he'd done it to curry a favor drunk. the guard. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking funny. Just saying, a couple of margaritas at a Mexican restaurant, you can't find your way to the car. <laughs> I think we did it just to feel normal again, if only for a short while. Oh, wow. What are you in for? Murder. Same as you. Innocent. Only guilty man in Shawshank. Oh, he's saying he did it, huh? Who did he kill? Who, Andy? No, um. Oh, Morgan Freeman? Mm -hmm. Red? I don't know. Red. There's always a red. Wasn't there yeah. a red in uh, Orange is the New Black? Yes. Yes, there was. She was really red. Though. She was great. Yeah, the Russian Russian character. So you don't know. Come. That's quite a... It's Blockbuster Night. Uh-huh. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Here she comes. Me? Who, <laughs> me? <laughs> what actress was that? Rita Hayworth. So the actual title of the short story is her? Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. This again. Oh. Oh, oh sh. Oh. Oh. Anything you put in my mouth, you're gonna lose. <laughs> and to spend a month in the infirmary. He's getting braver, right? He's definitely getting braver. Yeah, but at this point, I don't think he gives a sh. He's got two life sentences. Uh oh. No, you're getting it. Oh, because he likes Andy now, right? Because he helped him out. And when this guy f***s with you, like, you end up dead, as we well, found out from the beginning. You f with my money. Uh oh. Help! Me! Yeah! Ain't nobody to help you, dude. Fog never walked again. Oh, f it. He lived out the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Woo! I'm thinking Andy could use a nice welcome back. Let's get him some rocks. Carving rocks? Oh my god. Yeah. And you know what they say about geology, right? It rocks. <laughs> and that's probably taking a risk too because the you guards might think you're oh, saving yeah. them as like a weapon, you know? Mm -hmm. That is soapstone. That ain't alabaster either. Well, what the hell is it then? A horse apple. A what? A horse apple? Horse shit. 
I was horse. <laughs> oh my oh. god. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cigarettes, chewing gum, sipping whiskey, and of course, the most important item. Miss Rita. Aww. Some good friends. It is. Now here comes Hitler. Right. Yeah, for real. Smart man, read that Bible. Oh, not this again. <laughs> I hear you're good with numbers. It's pretty clean. Some contraband here, but nothing to get in a twist over. Can't say I approve of this. Mother. Exceptions can be made. I almost forgot. I hate to deprive you of this. Yeah, the Gideons dropped off another one. It's fine. Truth is, Norton wanted to size Andy up. Judgment cometh and right soon. Oh, they're right soon. You enjoy working in the laundry? Ah, oh, he's getting a better assignment. Oh, he's gonna be with Edgar Allan Poe. Nevermore. I've been reassigned to you. Ain't that a kick in the head? Oh, that was a little bird. I bet he he was nursing. Well, here she is. Shawshank Prison Library. Afraid. Those Drippo jeans. Yes, actually. <laughs> Brand X. It's Pepe, you asshole. <laughs> Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Oh, okay. A little office. Old men usually have pens in their. They do, yeah, right. I know. I do. Sweet, and like wearing jacket. I usually have. All right. Well, I know you're because you're like you know thirty-seven <laughs> going on seventy. Got your pins, your Werther's Originals. It's all right there. I'm a convicted murderer who provides sound financial <laughs> plans. Making a few friends, huh, Randy? I near soiled myself. <laughs> Got you out of the laundry, though, didn't it? That's true. How about expanding the library? How do you expect to do that? Ask the warden for funds. Who's <laughs> <laughs> asshole wouldn't pucker up tighter than a snare drum when you ask him for funds? <laughs> <laughs> he is hilarious. Three ways to spend the taxpayers' hard earned when it comes to prisons more walls, more bars, more guards. Still, I'd, I'd like to try with your permission. I'll even mail them for you. How's that? Oh, he's honest then. Maybe I not. feel like he's. I feel like he thinks he's fair. You know what I mean? But he's a total dick, sure. But I feel like he feels like he's fair. The following April, Andy yeah. did tax returns for half the guards of Shawshank, including wow. the wardens. Wow! He got so busy at tax time, he was allowed a staff. H and R Block Cell One. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Watch the door. Stop. 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 Well, yes, come on. Brooks, you're not gonna hurt Haywood. We all know that. Even Haywood knows that, right, Haywood? Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm kind of bleeding, so I'm, I'm questioning it. <laughs> it's the only way they let me stay. Come on, this is Look. crazy. You don't want to do this. Come on. Oh, what do you do? What the hell did you do to set him off anyway? I come in here to say fairly well. His parole <sighs> come through. Oh no. He's getting released. The man's been in here 50 years, Haywood. This is all he knows. Outside is nothing. Oh, that's a good point. Sad, yeah. They send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. <gasps> Message. Never thought about it that way. Well, huh? I mean, you've been there for so long. I bet, yeah. I bet it's hard to function outside of that. Yeah. I can't take care of you no more, Jake. Oh. You're free. Birds like that are very smart, though. They remember to come Yes. Out. It's like the symbolism. Like, he's free, just yeah. like him. Mm -hmm. Shakes their hand. No one there for you. It's orbits. Yeah. I can't believe how fast things move on the outside. Oh my God, that's true. You've seen cars. I try to keep up, but my hands hurt most of the time. I keep thinking Jake might just show up and say hello, but he never does. Oh. Maybe I should get me a gun and, and oh, rob God. the foodway so they'd send me home. <sighs> Thinks of it as home. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. Oh, no. What's he doing? Carve something in there. So he said, right? Yes, tell Haywood I'm sorry I put a knife to his throat. 
Oh my god! Even in the whole letter, he's like apologizing to the guy for putting a knife to his throat. Oh, it's a really good performance, though, right? I remember that scene. That that was one scene I remember. A, I mean, he's out of prison. No one's yeah. there for you. There's no one there. Oh my god! Do you want to do the fancy Kleenex that we have? <laughs> That's leftover from the Last of Us. In response oh, to your repeated inquiries, the state no has allocated the enclosed funds. Hey, look oh, at that. Wow, that's awesome. Please wow. stop sending us letters. <laughs> I'm going to go pinch a loaf. I oh, come God. back. This is all gone. What's right? pinch a loaf? Poop. Oh. <laughs> Did you go to high school? Sorry, I asked. <laughs> I always said drop the kids off at the pool. I was going to say that yeah. too. Oh, yeah. Nice vinyl. Archie comments <laughs> while he pinches a loaf. Oh no. Oh. This is where you push it too far. Dude. Oh, what are you doing? Don't get your ass in trouble. I'm always gonna play it for everybody. Sounds of an angel. Mm-hmm. That's true, because they probably heard music short of whatever's in the movies that they see in the, on movie night. I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. Some things are best left unsaid. It was like some beautiful bird flapped into our drab little cage and every last man at Shawshank felt free. It's like they're all mesmerized. Yeah. Open it up! Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh, dude. oh my god, what are you doing? You're gonna break the glass. Yes, he went too far. Yeah, he went too far. I think I charge you for that glass. Maestro. Hey guys, I'm back. You're right. Couldn't play something good, huh? And Hank Williams or something. <laughs> Hank Williams. Elvis. Worth it? Two weeks in the hall? Easiest time I ever did. That's the beauty of music. They can't get that from you. It's yours. What are you talking about? Hope. Hope. This is very similar to that story you told me about. Um, that parable of a uh, allegory of the cave. Yeah. Hope is a dangerous thing. You better get used to that idea. Yeah, but you're right. It's it's a lot like Allegory of the Cave, you know, where like you can't, you know, when you've seen the daylight, you can't go back down to the cave and express them what it's like because you've been forever changed. It's true. It's a very good point. But then like Morgan Freeman saying, yo, you need to get rid of hope because that's going to drive you nuts in a place like this. There's no hope. This is it. This is it. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes. Without a doubt. Ugh. Little parole rejection present. Oh. But I mean, in those days, I bet he knew that they weren't going to let him out. It's a whole, you know, I mean, the odds are against him. The whole white panel against a, yeah. a black man. That's, That's true. Know. That's true. Oh, I gave him a harmonica. It's a nice gift. You going to play it? He's like, oh, I couldn't. Pa- Gather around, everybody. <laughs> Obviously, this is an excellent movie. I feel. Oh, like. my God, yes. The one thing Very I would say good. is that I wish they would let us know how much time it had passed. You know, I kind of want to know yeah. where we are right now. It was 1957, obviously. Is that what it said? Well, when they stamped it, it had a date. Oh, of I didn't read that. Oh, okay. 57. Like okay, March there you go. 23rd of like 1957. New, oh, 10-year anniversary. There you go. Yeah, see, I spoke too soon. Should have trusted the movie. So now he's got Marilyn Monroe. That infamous pose. Right. Over the subway grate. He wrote two letters a week instead of one. He made deals with book clubs, charity groups. He bought remainder books by the pound. Persistence paid off? Yeah. By Alexandre Damas. Damas? Damas. <laughs> You'll like it. It's about a prison break. We'll be able to file that on the educational, too. Okay. <laughs> Andy had transformed the storage room into the best prison library in New England. <laughs> so he's really improved the quality of life, right? Yeah. You may remember reading about it. A genuine progressive advance. In corrections and rehabilitation. And of course, he gets all the credit. Yeah. And oh my lord, how the money rolled in. I need this new highway contract. I don't get it, and I go under. Oh, oh little bribe money, I see. You're missing a 20. Behind every dollar earned, that was Andy. Look at that. Using the good lord to hide his shenanigans. can't bake with shit. <laughs> the problem with having all that money is that sooner or later you're going to have to explain where it came from. Well, that's where I come in. I 
send that money out into the real world, but when it comes back, Venus of Virgin's honey butter. Well, look at that. He started uh, off in the prison laundry, and he's still in the prison <laughs> laundry. He's going to wind up in here wearing a number himself. Yep. They're always going to find the money. Randall Stevens. Who? Who? Randall Stevens. I conjured him out of thin air. On the outside, I was an honest man. I had to come to prison to be a crook. Oh, ah! that's a really funny good point. Best university in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Here come the fish. Oh, yeah. Okay, Danny. Cops caught him sneaking TV sets out the back door of a J.C. Penny. J.C. Penny. I got the TV like this. It's a big oh, old God, thing. I couldn't see shit. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in and out since I was 13. Perhaps it's time we tried a new profession. Oh, called him out. As it turned out, Tommy had himself a young wife and a new baby girl. Trying for my high school equivalency. Yeah. Don't waste time on losers, Tommy. Oh, snap. Oh. I ain't no goddamn loser. He wants his what, GD? Yeah. Don't read so good. So Andy took Tommy under his wing, started walking him through his ABCs. So being bilingual when I was young, we had to learn the ABCs and then we had to learn the ABCs in Spanish, which yeah. includes more letters. Which has got to be harder because you're trying to learn both at the same time, right? Yeah. Built a library. Now he needs oh, a wow. Like that. that is and like service years. merchandise I'm level. do most anything That's... to keep his mind occupied. Very nice. Wow. Who's this now? Okay. It was lovely Raquel. Raquel Welch. Oh, Raquel Welch. We've been friends a long time, so I know I'm as good as anybody. We have a card catalog in the back. No, it's not a card catalog. No. But I'm going to call you out like that. <laughs> What's he in here for, anyway? Bought his wife in bed with some golf pro. We used them both. Uh-oh, what does he know? I was in Thomaston on a two to three stretch. Get a new cellmate in, Elmo Blatch. So I pick out this guy. I killed him. I mean, this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> the real murder, huh? She married some other guy. Hotshot banker. <laughs> and he's the one they pinned it on. Oh, my God. Furious. What amazes me most is you were taken in by. Oh. Sir? There's a chance, isn't it? With Tommy's testimony, I can get a new trial. Do you think they want to lose him? You know what I mean? Do you think yeah. they want to lose him from the prison? Of course not. You're too valuable now. How can you be so obtuse? <gasps> oh. Back it up, back it up, back it up. If you want to indulge this fantasy, that's your business. Don't make it mine. I would never mention what goes on in here. <gasps> just oh, not- stop, stop, stop. Sir, I, I didn't Solitary, a month. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, a month? It's my life, don't you understand? It's my life! Get him out, get him out! It's my life! Oh, Damn. we'll never let you out now. But you notice how, like, that's why this movie's so great, in my opinion, because even the warden... You know, like he's not a, like a lead actor, right? But they've shown him gaining weight, getting older, his hair. Like you yeah. mentioned, his glasses. Like all those little details, that attention to detail like that is really, really impressive. Thomas. Yeah, over here. Mail call. What do you mean they're all males? <laughs> Board of Education. Right Son of a bitch mailed it. Kid passed. <gasps> C plus average. Look at that. Thought you'd like to know. Aw. You did that. Yep. Little Mr. Holland's opus. Hope you're happy. <laughs> I got out. What here? In my Z cavalry cheese. <laughs> Tommy, I'm asking you to keep this conversation just between us. Everybody's a smoker in this place, right? They're filtered now. Oh, yeah. Little details, right? See? I have to know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Yes, sir. This man's a horrible human being. I'm sure by now you've heard. Less than a year to go trying to escape. Broke Captain Hadley's heart to shoot him. Had a family, had a wife, had a kid. Got his GED trying to make something of himself, and they did that shit. Everything stops. Nothing stops. I'll pull you out of that one bunk, Hilton. Cast you down with the sodomites. Catch him adrift. Yeah. Where am I being obtuse? Oh, sh- Vicious. Evil. But isn't that kind of like an interesting, like, you know, kind of commentary on the movie as a whole? It's like this beautiful place where these horrible things happen, but then they still find beauty within, you know? Even though they make it, like, terrible for them as much as they can, the guards and the warden and everybody else. Feel bad about it if you want to, but you didn't pull the trigger. I think 
you'll ever get out of here. One day, when I got a long white beard and two or three marbles rolling around upstairs, they let me out. They make his teeth look <sighs> more. I saw that was going right because in the beginning it was yeah. In the beginning his teeth were so white and clean. Now they're like kind of like aged. Yeah. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? They say it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. A place like that, I could use a man that knows how to get things. Aww. In here, I'm the guy who can get things for you, sure. But outside, all you need is the yellow pages. <laughs> Today's generation's like, what's the yellow pages? It's all Google now. Get busy living, you get busy dying. There's a big hayfield up near Buxton. Got a long rock wall, a big oak tree at the north end. Made love under that oak. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> fairly specific. Base of that wall, you'll find a rock that has no earthly business in a main hayfield. There's something buried under it. I want you to. Help. At this point, mm. he's like, he's either crazy, he's talking funny, or like he knows what he's doing. Mm. Both. I mean, that's true. He was in there two months in the hole. That's a good point. Yeah. He asked me for a length of rope. Rope. He's gonna jump out. He's up to something. Look, we split. Want to get home? Just about finished, sir. Asshole. Oh, that's the ledger, right? Yeah, right. All of his important documents go in there. Good having you back, Andy. Thanks. The place wasn't the same without you. Narcissistic asshole. Exactly. Like, he probably honestly thinks he's, you know, doing yeah. right by him, you know? What's up, homie? I was going to say, what's up, bitches? <laughs> AD in the house. This guy escape, isn't he? How? That's what the rope is for. And how? Is there a window? Yeah, there's a window because he puts his little figurines by the window. Yeah, but it's got bars on it, though. But he's got the little pick. He's probably been picking at it. Oh, he's not there. Man missing on tier two cell 245. Don't make me come down there. I'll thump your skull for you. Oh, not a skull thumping. Oh my holy god. Oh. Eddie Bauer? <laughs> he was in his cell at Lights Out. Albert Einstein. Stands a reason he'd still be here in the morning. Not happy. Not ha Look at Albert Einstein back I know, there. That's what he said, Albert Einstein. Well, well, what? I see you two all the time. You're thick as thieves you are. He must have said something. Also, I don't know. I'm not a snitch. Exactly. I don't know anything. Maybe she knows. What's saying there, fussy britches? Oh, it's behind the wall. And everyone's in on it. Careful. Including her. Uh, bullseye. <laughs> See? You're smart. Look at you. That was one of the only scenes I remember. I remember this part. But I, I remember a lot of this movie, but... That part I remember. I remember thinking it would take a man 600 years. Old Andy did it in less than 20. Yeah, because what is that? It's a little rock hammer. It's yeah, but tiny. what kind of rock is it? Uh, the wall, you mean? I don't know. Oh, he knew exactly what it I was. I imagine it appealed to his meticulous nature. That and a big goddamn poster. <laughs> Turns out, Andy's favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. I'm just about finished, sir. Oh, smart. So we all keep our secrets in the walls, don't we? From the warden to Andy. That's why they say these walls could talk. I mean, seriously, how often do you really look at a man's shoes? It's my favorite uh, line from this movie. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? I don't know why, but for some reason that line stuck with me forever. They were the same size then. Yeah, close enough. Here we go. It's a have long camera. tunnel. Yeah. And he doesn't even know where it goes. It was such a risk because he doesn't even know what's on the other side. It's kind of like trying to find the bathroom in the mall. You don't know where you're going to end up. Really smart. It was just in the walls of the prison. The prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> Look at you with your Harry Potter friends. I'm so proud. Oh, every time it does, so I don't Yeah, I remember it. Morgan Freeman looked away when he heard the thunder because he was like, thought he heard a noise. Oh. Yeah, that ain't you who. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit smelling foulness I can't even imagine. I got something in my mouth. I got something in my mouth. Just shy of half a mile. Oh, no wonder he took 
Took a shower. For real, right? Yeah. Or they found a bar of soap. You a free man. Oh my gosh. The next morning, a man nobody ever laid eyes <laughs> on strolled into the main national bank. I went to the bank. <laughs> hope it wasn't Silicon Valley Bank. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy living abroad. Look at that, the guy he created. Thank you. Oh. Could you add this to your outgoing mail? I'd be happy to. A blue town with better than three hundred and seventy thousand dollars of Warden <gasps> Norton's money. Oh. Good morning, Portland Daily Bugle. Oh, the news. Oh, the press. Oh. Corruption and murder at Shawshank. His judgment cometh at the right. Oh! And he that has a flair awesome. for the dramatic, right? Good morning. All right. Salvation, Salvation lay within. Look <gasps> at that. Exodus. Right on Exodus. Right. Oh, you're going down, buddy. But I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when Ooh. they took him away. Because like algebra teachers, they wield their power from within, but they're weak on the outside. Samuel Orton, we have a warrant for your arrest. Open up. I was gonna kill himself. <laughs> Couldn't face it. The last thing that went through his head, other than that bullet, the bullet. how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of it? Smarter than you. Yep, that's right. I got a postcard in the mail. Yeah, this what? That's where Andy. Oh, was. he went to his beach. Some bitch. He's like that mother. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. With no memory. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. Like a legend. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. I know yeah. why the cage bird sings. Ellis Boyd Redding. You feel you've been rehabilitated? It means you're ready to rejoin society. I know what you to... think it means. Oh, snap. He's got a seizure pair this time. What is he going to do? Give me more time? I'm already here. I look back on the way I was then. Stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. That kid's long gone. So you go on and stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. Oh. I don't give a shit. So, reject it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, approved. Look at that. That's all it took, huh? Speak truth to power. Thank you, boys. <laughs> I can't believe this suit still fits. <laughs> See, it's sad there's no one there for them. Yeah. Well, like you just said, 50 years, same as Brooks. That's the same halfway house. Yeah, looks like it. Brooks was here. I bet he's going to see the thing. Oh, oh, yeah. you're right. Oh, look at you. So smart. Working at the same Kroger and everything. You don't need to ask me every time you need to go take a piss. Just go. Oh, no way. I'm going to make it on the outside. All I want is to be back where things make sense. Only one thing stops me. A promise I made to Andy. Oh, did he go to that spot, right? Oh. What's that scary movie with the thing that comes like that? Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers, oh, yeah. Oh. I was like, holy sh**. We blend in Jeepers Creepers right now. I took a dark turn. <laughs> Children of the well, Corn coming yeah. out. It's bad on the outside. <laughs> Let's go to the tree and there's a rock that should be out of place. Yeah. It's a black volcanic rock. Man, that really is in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Well, f there better be a water fountain at the end of this. Something, right? <laughs> Good Lord. Been walking forever. Should have brought a snack pack. There it is. He said underneath the rock, there should be something there. Yeah, oh, it's right there. There you go. Oh, it's money for him, I bet. <laughs> you're good, dude. There's no one around. I can assure you, you're by yourself. Oh. Cash. Oh, yeah, I left him some cash. It's getting better. Some nice bills, yeah, too. Right. Nice and crispy. If you're reading this, you've gotten out. And if you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. Oh, he's inviting him to come with him. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. Your friend, Andy. He's a good friend, huh? Yeah. Took care of him. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. It's a nice beach. Yeah, it's very nice. What's up, buddy? Yeah. I made it. Well, hello, fish. That's beautiful. 
Yeah, it ain't Galveston. Oh, he got that old boat. Yeah. So. It was so good. I loved it. Yeah? Yeah, excellent movie. So what did you like about it? I like that um, the acting was excellent, number yeah. one. Uh, yeah. Number two, I like the storyline, like that um, even in prison they found hope, they made a community yeah. and all that stuff. I thought that was great. Yeah, because you don't get to see that a lot, no, right? No, you don't, know. Yeah, and we have a bad habit, I would say, in my opinion, of thinking that like prison, prisoners, they deserve to be there, yeah. scum of the earth, you know what I mean? Like like almost yeah. kind of like they were saying when yeah. he started writing the letters about the library, right. like he on, they only want to give, taxpayers only want to give prisons like three things, more walls, more guards, yeah. like you know what I mean? And then this kind of movie shows us that, no, there's humanity inside of oh, there. Oh, yeah, totally. I like yeah. that they showed that. I was sad when Brooke died. That was probably the Oh, my God. I was crying. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I was crying yeah. for real. It was, oh, my God, I was sad. That's kind of a good lead into what I was going to say. So, you know, kind of like I was telling you earlier, I saw this movie once, you know, back when it came out. And so I remembered uh, The Escape. And I remembered Brooks, you know what I mean? Uh, but those are about the only two things I really remembered. Mm-hmm. And I didn't remember the details or any of the gray area in between, you know, like forming the friendships, forming the relationships. Uh, I didn't really remember what happened with his wife. I remember okay. that was why he was in jail. But yeah, that hit again, like even harder as a, like an older right person. Right in the fields. Yeah. yeah, right in the fields, exactly. So I laughed, I cried, I learned a little something. Yeah, yeah. it's a great movie. Yeah, it is. I mean, this movie Excellent. is like, I like I said, always on the top. 100 at least if not even more narrowed lists of greatest movies of all time did it win any awards no i well i don't know i know it was nominated i don't think it won any that i recall i'll have to look up and see afterwards um maybe something like screenplay i I don't i don't know but like i know that they were all nominated and they didn't you know like each of these actors have won for other things you know um but i don't think for this no Oh, but it was so I, good. I, I was so good. I'm oh so glad God. you liked that. I don't uh, think you would. Thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great, great, great yes. movie. And oh, I would say that like great recommendation. One of the things I took away from it, especially this time watching it again, was kind of how we, you know, you, we kind of made a joke about it kind of midway through. But you were talking about how the beauty of the prison, mm-hmm. you know, like the architecture yeah. is what you were talking yeah. about. The building. And then I made the comment that yeah, it's beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, it's like you know nobody wants to be there. Yeah. And then now it's kind of like, you know, you sort of see, no, there is like beauty within as well. Yeah. You know, it was the community that they built. Yeah. And it's sad to watch, and, you know, when they have to try to get out. Yeah. Yeah. That's all they and know. Then they, they're not ready for the world outside of it. And that makes sense. If you think about it, you know, like when you spend 50 years, like Red was in there 50 yeah. years, Brooks was in there, what, 50 years, something like that. And you try to like adjust outside. It's the only world they know. Yeah. Yeah. And then what people think of you, like all they know is that, you know, you're, you're a convicted felon. You know, you can't like they said, Brooks ran the library and he probably came with a library card on yeah. the outside. That's a that's a great way to put that difference, you know, of, of what he wants to felt. So anyway, yeah, I love this man. I thought it was very so good. good. Excellent, guys. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, um, I don't know what's coming up next. I can't remember. What, I think this was the last movie we're going to do for March. Okay. So going forward, we'll see what comes for April. Okay. But I thought this was a good one to end on. You know, we watched yeah. everything everywhere all at once. We watched Blazing Saddles. This was very different than that, right? Yeah, very yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know what you guys think of this one. Um, we love hearing from you, yes, obviously. Let us know, guys. And we love hearing uh, all the behind-the-scenes yes. stuff, things we don't Your know. Comments, trivia, things yeah. I don't know. I love learning. All that stuff yeah, is yes. so great. Uh, and if you can help us by doing those things that are of no cost to you, like the liking really helps us more than you can imagine. Uh, subscribing would be amazing. We certainly Share, appreciate Share, comment, that. the whole All thing. that great stuff. Thank you guys so much. But nothing else. We really appreciate you watching. Always. We hope you have a great rest of the day slash night, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always Always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble.